Hi, how are you? Welcome in. How are you doing today? Great. Good. So, um, are you looking for some hair accessories today? Okay, and what type of, of hair accessories are you looking for? Okay, you're looking for some different clips for your hair. Okay, are these kind of like something you want to be able to do your hair with? Just a fashion accessory or are you thinking both? A little bit of both. Okay, well, lucky for you, we sell a ton of different hair clips. So uh, what I can do is if you wanna just take a seat, I will run a brush through your hair uh, and then I can just go through some of our sample clips that we offer to uh, clients to try before they buy. Um, I have tons of them here and uh, we can kind of just go through them and I'll put them in your hair and you can look in the mirror and see what you like and then I can order for you whatever you like or you can buy in store today, okay? All right, so are you comfortable? Okay, great. So I'm just going to do a really light, gentle brush through your hair. Lot of hair assess a lot of hair accessories or you're collecting and you want more or you don't have a lot but that's good that gives us an opportunity to look at a lot of different kinds hopefully you don't mind me just giving your hair a brush Do you usually part your hair this way? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, if I need to um, repart it, I'm going to just get it straightly parted. There we go. Sorry. It's never easy parting with a, a brush, right? Okay, we'll start with the side part that you got, and then I can always make it a straight part and down the middle if I need to. Do not worry about it. All right, so that looks beautiful. Okay, so let's just get started with flipping up your hair. Um, I will just start with some of the favorites. Sorry, I bring my dog to work. <laughs> um, and she clearly is very comfortable. Um, okay, so yeah, like I said, we'll just get started with some of my personal favorites. And we can get into some of the more economical um, options. And then, you know, whatever else you want to look at. Have a lot of clips, like I said, that are very economical um, as far as usage go. You know, you can just super versatile, use them for a lot of different things. So I'll get into that with you too. Personal favorites. These are a little quirky. Might not be for you, but I'm gonna start with these skeleton hands. If you enjoy, you know, creepy things, or you just want to buy something for Halloween, these are really cute. All right, so I'm gonna actually start the way. There's a lot of ways to wear these that I will show you, but um, one way is to put them in your hair, kind of like this and you know you can do two I've done two before I usually do one 
uh, especially if you have a side part. So I'll put both in you, on you right now. Uh, they look better on both sides if you have a center part though. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one. Okay, there's the first one. And then here is the second one. Okay, that looks really cute on you. So you can see it just holds the hair back. And let me just re -glue this one really quick. It's not in well enough. There we go. So that looks really cute on you. Even actually with the side part, it looks really cute because you have really full hair. Sorry, that was just a little tangle there. Okay. Perfect. All right, so let's pull that out from that way. So another way is you can run it right like this. And then you can so take that one out and you can overlap them like so. And that creates just that beautiful overlap, kind of like that, with the skeleton hands. Okay, I'll take that out. The other way you can use one of them or two. Pull the hair this way and then secure with the clip in the back with the little puff. And then another way I like to wear it um, on the part, the side that you're have you have less hair on, is just to take some of the hair this and then I'm going to twist it put it back to the side and clip it into place so you just have that pretty cascade effect kind of there okay okay so let's take that out and get into some other clips and if you are positive that you want anything, just say so, okay? And I'll put them aside for you. Okay, the next clips I'm gonna go for is a set of four that we sew in different colors. You can buy them separately or together. Okay, so we have these four clips. And these are the next things I'm gonna show. And they come in a couple different colors. These are all more natural colors. So we have black, dark brown, or dark nude, medium nude, and light nude. I'm gonna stick all these in your hair so you can just see how they feel. But generally you're gonna get the same type of effects from these clips and what you can use them for. So you can use these for a lot of different things. I even pull my hair all the way back and kind of do like a, this type of thing with these. Okay. And you can also do something like this. I think that's really cute. Or this. That's really nice as well. Okay, so those are options for you as well. And those do come in the four pack. Let's move on to some smaller clips. Small clips. Look at this. 
can do a lot of different things with this. I'm just going to go ahead and stick these in your hair and then we'll talk about them. Very cute. So, just kind of wanted to give you a an idea of how those will go into your hair. But um, as you can see, so even as I move them around here, there's just so many different functions for these. You can even go right there down the middle. Versus if you want to just do something cute over there on the side, also very cute. You can do these two really quick. Oops, sorry, messing your hair up. <laughs> okay, so you can also do something like where you take it and when you push that hair back, you do a butterfly clip in there almost. These are a little bigger. They are butterfly clips, but they're, they're larger ones. I do have smaller ones available too. That's very cute. Here's one of my favorite hairstyles. So I'm not going to repart your hair down the middle, but typically I would part my hair down the middle. And then I take a small section like this from the front, and I just twist it back a tiny bit like that. I'm going to twist it the opposite way, sorry, because it's going to go back. You don't want to... There we go. Alright, so you twist it back just a little bit, pull that in, and then clip it. And then for one like this that's a little larger, you can literally just take this whole bit of hair right here on the larger half and where there's a lot of extra hair this side and just clip that back. So you can do it like that. You could do it lower on the side. And even honestly for a clip like this, you see how that's really subtle? You can't tell really from this angle which way that that clip opens. So it's you don't really have any part of it you need to hide. You can do that way. And if you want, and you leave that like that, you could even put one up there. Okay, so those are some options for those smaller clips. Okay, and these are just so versatile. You can just do so many things with them. And I also have these brown ones. There's just one in the middle. You can also use them if you have your hair put a ponytail to do this back and secure it there like that. Or like that even. So those are really nice options as well. Alright. Now let's move on to the other small clips that I have. These are, oh by the way, I showed you this one. I also have that in black. Just as, you know, same uses, but you can see and feel how that's a really comfortable clip. It, it stays in, it's got a good grip on it. You should, even if, if you pull it, all of this hair back, you can see it's it's got a very good hold there. Or even just something small and dainty in the front. All right. Now, the other small ones that I wanted to show you are these. So either brown or clear. I could also get you black in this. So these you can use to pull the hair back in the back, mostly because of this longer clip. You don't usually use it in the front. I can certainly, I'll put them in the front now and show you. They just kind of don't look great. 
actually it doesn't look that on you but so there they are in the front I often use them frequently like this also something cute and then I can show you you can also just take that out really quick just um, let me take I'm just gonna use the brown and I'm just gonna kind of pull the hair back The other option is something like this where you pull a ton of the hair back, a straight back like that. And you could do this on either side. That's really gorgeous as well. So I love that. Alright, so let's move on. Let's go to this club. This is something that you don't see as often. It opens like this, closes like this. Okay. Beautiful black color, shiny. This can go a lot of different ways. So I'm just going to pull your hair, push your hair back apart. Okay. And then I'm going to open the clip. I actually do it push back and back here a little bit. So let's see here. So that is one way. Another way is if we just did the side. If we have all this hair on the side, we just push that back. Run that clip up and secure it. It's a really pretty um, look. Uh, it's very kind of around unique. You don't see that a lot, but it's really pretty. It's also kind of a vintage look. Okay. Yeah, I can certainly put that on the other side just to give it a try. Let me just smooth the hair out here. And on the them doing it on the side, of course, where there's less hair. So there's that one. And then the final way I would suggest is if you wanted to do it with a little poof right here. That is gorgeous. You definitely want that one. Okay, I'm going to order it for you in a few colors. I only have black in store today, but I can. Let me just. Sorry, that hair got a little bit tangled there. Yeah, like I said, I only have it in black today, so I can send the black one home with you, and then I can order you brown, white, red, any color you want. Yeah, just think about it and let me know. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. This one's a little bit different. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have a lot of people buy this one, but what I like about it is that you have a lot of thick hair. And the problem with, with clips, like this one, is that if your hair is too thick, either it doesn't close or it pops open. So for this one, you can see I'm pushing that and it's not opening, whereas if I unclip this section, it becomes a regular clip. But then I have the ability to lock it back into place so that your hair doesn't come out. So if you need something really secure for sports and things like that, a little bit gem, or you just have a lot of hair, this is a great clip for you. So I have unfastened it. Let's put this big chunk of hair right here in it. Shut. That's gorgeous. 
and you can see here when I just move your hair your head there and push the clip a little bit it doesn't move so that's one really nice thing just unclip that okay and then even if you want to put it in the other side of your hair that has less less hair not as much thick hair you can do that just like that okay and that's fastened into place and you can see it's still holding that very well because it has that fasten okay so that's just an option for you smooth your hair back out here all right I have that same option for a ponytail clip have you ever used a ponytail clip I will show you right now because I also have the one that's like this that opens easier let me get my brush and move to the back of your head just for a second so I can show you the ponytail So back here, I'm just kind of brush the hair back a bit. And I'm going to start by just brushing it back so that you are, I feel like a small ponytail here. Well, I wouldn't say small, you have a lot of hair. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so now I'm just going to fast and this is the thicker one that is gorgeous in your body so you can feel how secure that is when I push on your head there a little bit all right and then I will show you the other one you just open it up all right and I'm just going to slide this along the scalp and I'm gonna place your hair in that little Piece. Close it. And you can feel that it's actually pretty secure as well. The only difference is that your ponytail is pretty wide. And there we go. And unfortunately, it's not easy to keep those uh, clips like that closed when um, you have a really large ponytail. So, there's one. There's the other. Let's move on. I have two uh, particularly, in my opinion, fancy clips. These are metal clips. And they have these beautiful rhinestones in them. Here. And this one has it on the sides. As you can see. And here. These are a beautiful pink color, and these are a pretty purple. And then we have the iridescent ones that are over there. And then in here we have the pink as well. And then on the other clip, we have a darker pink here. As you can probably see, there we go. Iridescent stones here. We have these beautiful heart designs across. Yep, there you go. You can see those. And then... We have the, just the fancy, um, kind of, um, the fancy shape on the sharpest for both of them. Okay, these are really heavy. That's the only thing, but you do have a lot of hair. So let me just start out with one. You can see on the side there, it does add some weight. This one would be good for the back of the hair, so I'll just put that there. Move it over here. Um, alternatively, you could do this one like this. Or like this. I'm not a fan of those because of the weight. I absolutely like the design too, but I'm not a fan of the weight either. They are really heavy. I have done updos with these, so if you do like any type of fancy dances, formals, these are your kind of go-to. And the hairstylist can totally fasten your hair in a way that's more comfortable for you. Alright, 
I only have a couple clips left, so let's go to the bigger ones. And some of these are kind of repetitive, so I'll show you these. These are all um, my, my larger size clips, medium and large, and then I have an extra large I'll show you. So I have this somewhat tacky yellow one, but this is very, it closes hard and tightly, so let me just show you. See that? Yeah. Um, and then let me just show you in the back of your hair here. So, if you want something to just quick throw your hair up and not come out, or like, here we go, look at this one. I mean, that is seriously feel bad. That's secure. So, um, these are the ones I usually sell to people when they want something, a clip for their hair, but they're like volleyball players or whatever, okay? They're really pretty though. And it just so happens that yellow is what I have here, but I have every color. I can wear any color. one's broken but you can see I also have this really tacky green color all right let's move into the medium clips so I have these in brown or black and they come in a two-pack brown black so I have four here these are more medium to large size clips and they are not as uh, as you can see when I'm doing this uh, they don't come down close as hard as this so Yeah, how light that closes. I'm just gonna put all four of these in your hair so you can just, you know, try it out. Put one in the back. And then I'll put this other one in the back as well. I mean, I can even try this one like this. And then this one maybe over here. So you can see, they're very lightweight, uh, gentle on the hair, they're not pulling. Take those out. Okay, so there's those. And then the final clip, oh by the way, I also have this clear clip, it's similar to our yellow. But it just closes a little bit. You can see there's a little more room here. I'll put this one in and show you, sure. So, also a pretty sturdy clip. This is one of the only clips I have in clear, so. Uh, yeah, I do have the smaller one in clear as well. And I can order those as a set, by the way. I like it on you like that as well. Yeah, I can show you. So this is for the back. You like that? That's a really good one for the back. Okay, so that is that one. And then the final clip I will show you is my extra large clip. This is flat on the bottom. It's a newer design but it's very nice because when you do your hair in a big clip like this, the problem is, is that when you close them against your head, a lot of times you're, these are poking you. But because of the way this clip closes, you see there's none of that there. So let me show you how this works. So for an updo in the back of your hair, it would look really good if we just pulled, pulled this back. Or you can wrap the hair like this and then do it like that. The other way that is possible is to 
use it and pull it straight back like this and then close it so, to you. okay so let me take that out and again we have all of these clubs here for sale today if you're interested in any of them i can help you at the front of the store please just like walk up there with me now and I can send any of these home with you that you'd like. We have quite a few sales going on. So uh, let's go up there now. And we can talk a little more. I really appreciated uh, working on you today and putting these clips in your hair. And uh, I hope you come back again soon. Okay, great. I'll see you then. Right up there. Yep. Okay.